actually if it's a sci-fi series you have to be able to sell me the first book so i can continue the rest of the series hey you guys welcome or welcome back to another video thank you so much for stopping by if you're new to my channel my name is ani in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you five books that i plan on never reading and here they are the first one is Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. So of course I read the first book. It happened one summer and it was so hyped. That's pretty much uh, the reason I wanted to read this book because I don't know anything about this author. I never read a book by. So it's about a spoiled rich party girl who moves to Washington and kind of like falls in love with a fisherman. Oh, and of course, he's a hot fisherman forgot that part. So the reason I didn't like this book is because there was no backstory about this girl. She moved, you know, and then somehow she fell in love with like the hottest fisherman out there, you know, in Washington or wherever, you know, this little small town. She didn't have a personality and for her to fall in love with this guy, I don't know. It was just like, I felt like it was just about sex. I get it that it's supposed to be, you know, a summer read. It's supposed to be like lighthearted or whatever. And yeah, it just, I don't know. It just, I just found it really boring. Even the guy for his age, he was talking like, he was talking so immature. That was my, another problem with this book. I did not like the story. I did not like the characters. And I hear there's going to be a movie about it next year. I'm hoping the movie is better than the book. Hence the reason I will not be picking up the second book and I hear people say that it's much better than the first one. Well, I'm not holding my breath. The next book, or actually the series that I plan on not reading and people are going to hate me for it, is The Wayward Children by Shannon McGuire. So the first book, Every Heart a Doorway, I read and it's about, you know, pretty much a boarding school with a uh, children's boarding school actually where they can travel between the magical world to the real world. The premise sounded so interesting. I love a book with magical schools in it. And of course, it was so hyped. So I, of course, I had to read it. But after reading it, I was not as impressed by this book by any means. So I decided not to continue this series. I think my main reason for not liking this book as much as I thought I would is that I was not as invested in the characters as, you know, I am usually with other magical schools. I think that's what the main reason was. That's why I kind of didn't, you know, I didn't care for continuing the series. Like, yeah, I liked the story. I liked the premise. I liked what it was going for. I even liked the ending, but like I said, that I did not connect with the characters. So therefore, you know, it's not worth investing my time into a whole series of this. The next book that I don't plan on reading is Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. So this book is about, you know, the romance between the first son of the United States and the British prince. This book was very hyped. I believe I saw this, was it last year? I know it's been out for a while. So yeah, I just never picked it up. I never thought it was interesting premise for me, to be honest. And I know people will get upset at me for it, but this is just my opinion why I didn't pick it up is I felt like two people writing about two people come from like kind of like privileged background and falling in love it just does not seem interesting to me i know like you know there are other books that's going kind of like similar to this however i do try to stay away from books that i feel like it it's not going to impress me or wow me so yeah knowing that i did not you know ever in read this book Another reason I didn't care to read this book was uh, the cover and the blurb pretty much other than romance it also sounded like it's going to be more political and in my opinion I don't really care for politics and romance being mixed together that's just not my cup of tea. I, can, I understand why people love this book and why there's so much hype about it you know but to me at the time it's just not something that I'm interested in reading. Politics seem to you know come with its own messes and I don't feel like I want that in a book where it should be just like I don't know kind of fun and light right I don't know that's how I was thinking those are completely two different genres and ideas and topics that I prefer you know at different times just not together just my opinion guys so yeah I don't think I'll ever be reading this book at least not anytime soon for sure 
Another series I don't plan on continuing is Children of Ruin by Adrian Tchaikovsky and this is the second book of Children of Time which I actually recently read. This is a sci-fi and it's about, you know, human survival at a terraformed planet where human are the um, invaders and, you know, this book kind of like has to do with um, monkeys and spiders. So yeah, if you like sci-fi and that type of genre, you probably already read this book or on your way to reading it, I'm pretty certain. So I always, almost always love a sci-fi. That is one of my favorite genres. So that's the reason I picked this book up because the premise sounded so interesting. And when I read it, it did not impress me at all. I was so bored. It was, it, it took such a long time from get to like from A to B to C. And yeah, it just did not do it for me at all for a sci-fi book. Like I get sometimes when it's a series, it takes time to build characters, the story, the plot. So nothing really happens for a while, but you have to sell me on the first book, you know, right? At least that's how I feel, especially if it's a sci-fi series, you have to be able to sell me the first book so I can continue the rest of the series. So yeah, I was not sold on the first book. The characters were not well developed in my opinion and I felt like they were smart people but making poor decisions. It was just not a good sci-fi book for me and you know, I it has really good ratings so I don't know how. I guess a lot of people really love it. So yeah, another book, the series I will not be continuing because I don't want to be bored out of my mind again. And the very last book that I don't plan on reading is Bunny by Mona Awad. First of all, I love the cover by the way. It is just so cute and I feel like this will be the closest I will get to liking this book. So this book is about a scholarship student from a small town goes to a Northeast Warren University where she meets a group of girls who refer to each other as Bunny. So this is supposed to be a dark comedy satire or a horror? I'm not really sure which one. <laughs> not knowing this author especially, I don't know if I want to go into reading this book. So the blurb did not give me enough for me to be interested in the book or read it. I guess it's weird book, which I'm all for. I love weird books, but is this supposed to be about a sorority? Like I'm so confused, but do you know what this is about? If you do, leave me in the comments down below or let me know if I should read any of these books even though I don't want to. This is pretty much my anti-TBR as of right now. So yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out my next video and I will see you there. Until next time, take care.